We have here at Bonham's items, artefacts relating not just to 007, but to Roger Moore's whole life and career. What have we got? The cell is called Sir Roger Moore, the personal collection, for a very good reason, that it is his personal collection of items that he collected during his time as Bond, but also going back in his film career as well. And I think growing up as I did in the 1970s and 80s, he was the most famous man on the planet. So it's a really fascinating insight into the man himself. He was a very well-dressed James Bond. We have here in front of us this really exquisite double-breasted suit. Mohair, I think, is it? It is indeed. Is this yeah. a Bond suit? It is. The Midnight Blue as well. And in fact, you're absolutely right. He was, I think, the best-dressed Bond. And I think that Doug Hayward, who was his tailor for The View to the Kill and actually for previous films as well, is a very important person here because he was the tailor for Michael Caine in The Italian Job. He was used by Steve McQueen in the Thomas Crown Affair. He was the, the tailor that everyone went to go and see and would have been worn on set and also at the premiere as well. Of course, it's not the only dinner suit in the cell. There are suits from Octopussy and The Spy Who Loved Me and we have his great coat from Live and Let Die. So it's a real chance to buy a unique piece of history with of course that Bond magic behind it as well. James Bond, of course, known for his suits, his cars, his gadgets, and his watch. You have to have a really nice timepiece on your wrist if you are 007. What was Roger Moore wearing? Well, there are quite a few watches in the cell, but I particularly want to show you this wonderful Amiga chronograph that we've got. It's the Seamaster, of course, Commander James Bond being a naval man. And Amiga actually have been synonymous with the Bond franchise for over 30 years. And this is a very special unique watch that we have here. On the back of the watch is engraved to Roger with love from Barbara Broccoli and Michael G. Wilson, the producers. It's going to attract huge interest internationally because of what it is. There's no other watch really like it. In 2007, on Sir Roger Moore's 80th birthday, he was inaugurated into the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And here is a plaque which was presented to him to commemorate that moment. And a reflection not just of his work on James Bond, I guess, but of course, such a long career in Hollywood. I think one of the longest careers of all. I mean, over 60 years. And the people wow. he knew and met, and actually, because he was such a lovely man, he's known for his great wit and humour. Everybody loved him. We have his Gucci address book in the sale with a facsimile of some of the names and people that he knew from Frank Sinatra, Princess Margaret, Cary Grant. With their telephone numbers? Well, they've been redacted, <laughs> of course. We get ourselves in trouble. All these wonderful names from the golden age of Hollywood cinema going forward to the 1970s and 80s. He knew everybody? He knew absolutely everybody. So this is a sale that relates to a man who was known all around the world on the big screen, but also gives us a sense of Sir Roger Moore, the man at home, a man of taste and style in particular. I think it does. It's actually a real chance for all his fans to actually come into Bonhams here at Bond Street to view these items. And there's something for everyone here, down to little matchbox cars from his Simon Templar Volvo through to the big lots like the Omega watch and his wonderful dinner suits. So it'll be a very exciting sale for us here and we're looking forward to it enormously. Mm -hmm.